The Broadway show is back with another stellar episode. I'm Tamsin Fidel. It's happening tonight. I want the West Side locked down. So this is the most anticipated movie musical event of the year. Steven Spielberg's remake of West Side Story. Paul got to know one of the stars, David Alvarez. Thanks, Tamsin. David Alvarez dazzled Broadway as one of the young leads of Billy Elliot, winning a Tony Award at the age of 15. Since then, more ballet, more Broadway, the Army, college, and now a star turn as Bernardo in Steven Spielberg's reboot of West Side Story. I found out more when I met up with him at Time Hotel. What were you doing with my sister? No, no, no. Your brother has something to say to you. I apologize for behaving last night like, like a gangster. Steven Spielberg has made a big, splashy, brand new movie version of West Side Story. You're Bernardo, one of my favorite characters. How does it feel to be right on the cusp of like the world getting this movie? I mean, I'm so excited because we all worked so hard to, to bring this to life. And I think everyone brought so much um, talent and unique abilities to this to bring it to life and you know share a new a new version of this story a new perspective on this story talk about the filming because you were filming on the streets of New York what was it like to actually get in those costumes start dancing and tell that story I mean it's honestly I when I was behind the camera and I saw, you know, Steven and everyone working so closely together. I just couldn't believe that I was in the middle of one of the greatest directors of all time. You know, I've watched his movies when I was a kid and I always dreamt of, oh, imagine if I ever did a movie like that. And what were some Spielberg movies that like? Oh, E.T., yeah. um, Jaws, Jurassic Park. So Spielberg meant a lot. Um, yeah, he meant so much to me and finally being there and being surrounded by his team I, I, I felt like everyone had so much passion and want to be there that the energy there was just incredible. And like, I just couldn't believe it. You really arrived at Billy Elliot when you were a kid from the ballet world. Since you didn't necessarily arrive on Broadway as like someone who dreamt of being in a Broadway musical, did the movie West Side Story uh, mean anything to you, the original? Oh, absolutely. I mean, I remember when I was about 13 years old, um, I saw West Side Story on Broadway. and. I just remember having this feeling that one day maybe I'll be able to do a show like this. And it's crazy that, you know, 10 years later, I'm not only doing the show, I'm doing the movie for it. So it's just, it's crazy. You've actually seen the movie. I'm very jealous of your brain because you can actually picture what it looks like in, <laughs> in your brain. You've seen it. What are audiences in for? What did you really love about the finished product? I think one of the things I loved the most about it was how powerful the message was the message of um, love and not giving in to fear and hatred. Uh, and that message is so strong in the movie and I, I'm really happy that that's what I think the audience is gonna take from it. And you got to work with Ariana DeBose, Broadway's Ariana DeBose yeah. play is your Anita. But did you guys have an immediate chemistry? Oh, absolutely. I think from the callback, we both felt this incredible chemistry and I think it's because we're kind of polar opposites and we balance each other out. And I think working with her was just an incredible experience. Um, she, she brought me up and we, we got the best out of each other out. There are actually two Tony winners in West Side Story, the new movie. It's not just you, because <laughs> yeah. uh, Rita Moreno yeah. is also in the film. What was it like getting to know her? I mean, I remember looking at Rita and talking with her and just thinking, this woman is a master in her craft. She knows what she's doing. And when you see this movie, you're gonna realize how truly incredible she is. And I think she inspired not only me, but the entire cast every day when we were there. You also enrolled in the Army yeah. af after high school. A lot of performers would look at that and go like, wait, what? Yeah. Can you talk a little bit about sort of <laughs> what that experience, how it's maybe helped you in the bigger picture of life and your career? Yeah, I think to be an actor or just to create or be an artist and whatever you're doing, it's good to kind of understand the struggles that everyone goes through in life so that you can use some of that to create whatever it is that you want to create. So for me, it was kind of a way to step out of this um, bubble so that I could see the world for what it is and I could come back and share my experiences. Thank you.